Hello, I'm Ed. I'm a ST7 uh, anaesthetic registrar here at the Royal Free Hospital in London, uh, and we just we're going to show you today a uh, atomization technique for awake fibrotic intubations or airway topicalization uh, prior to instrumentation. Um, it's a slight variation on the MAD device, which is included in the DAS um, awake tracheal intubation guidelines. Um, so for this, you will need, and hopefully this is available in most. Um, and so, the department. so this is the Teleflex Magic device um, with a Lua Lock um, end, um, a three-way catheter um, set. You can have a two-way catheter. The reason why we've chosen this is because of the rigidity that the, um, the, the commentary set gives you. Some simple oxygen tubing, whatever you've got, and some sort of oxygen delivery mechanism, but ideally um, an oxygen cylinder or your flow meters that on your anaesthetic machine. So for assembly, um, you just simply take the Lua lock system and attach it like so. Hopefully this will mean that it's nice and rigid and not be um, able to come off in the patient's airway. Um, you attach the oxygen tubing to the most rigid or the what would be normally be the IV giving line of the um, uh, giving set. And for the one of the ports will be your delivery system for your local anaesthetic. It should be just given via ideally like a Lua lock syringe, which is a normal syringe with your pre-calculated dose of uh, lignocaine and our institution would be using 4% lignocaine um, uh, and then you would make sure if you have a third port that it's capped off because otherwise you'll uh, get entrainment outside of the system. Um, you then connect this up to your oxygen tubing and we've been choosing, two, we've moved around with the flows but two litres a minute on the oxygen cylinder seems to be um, a good number and then it allows you to deliver a cloud of anaesthesia uh, or local anaesthetic, sorry, for, for minimal volumes. That's 0 0.2, each spray is about 0.1 to 0.2 mils of local anaesthetic. Uh, and the way we've been using this after nasal topicalization, um, we've been using this to topicalize the back of the throat, um, but where we feel it really has value is topicalizing the laryngeal outlet and the, and the trachea. So in people's airways who don't open particularly wide, Ideally, you uh, want to be pushing to the back of the throat, ask them to breathe with you, so kind of breathe and ask them to breathe. So you'd be spraying this until you've got about two or three sprays to hopefully lose their gag reflex. Um, you'd wait uh, for a minute or so, test the gag reflex. Nearly always the patient has lost their gag reflex at this stage. And then the important bit of this is that you angle the, the tip of the um, magic device, the internal stylet to hold the ridges of teeth. So you can again put it into these airways, bring it down to the base of the tongue or the back of the throat, and then ask the patient to time their breathing with you. So as they breathe in, you're delivering a spray, uh, an atomized spray of lignocaine, and you continue to do that with them for about four or five breaths. And if you're doing it really well, you should see the patient breathing back out the mist of local anaesthetic uh, back to you, which shows you're getting good excursion of the lignocaine right down to trachea and ideally down to the carina. Um, in our experience, this has avoided the need to have further sprays you go take leaks because the patient will nearly always be well topicalized. You might find that out by asking them to count to 10 and I'll have a more guttural voice as they do that. Um, uh, but by doing that, the operating is confident and concentrate solely on manipulation of the fibroscope um, with confidence and when you get to the um, laryngeal outlet, you may want to top of them just to check the topicalization. The patient's very rarely cough with an extra additional dose um, and then you know you're going to be safe all the way down into the trachea with this technique um, that we've been, well, in our hands so far has been um, working well. So that's our um, site variation on the MAD atomizer for awake fiber optic intubations um, at the Warfare Hospital in London. So just going to show you. So this is this is the, the spray that we're going to be using for. So that's that's the spray. So I'm going to do the front of the mouth first. All right. So just going to spray it a little bit at the front. Just take some. Start taking some nice big deep breaths all the way in and all the way out. That's good. Then give you a little bit of break. And then open your mouth all the way up. Just going to do it again. And it's going to go at the back of your throat. Okay. So deep breaths.
three. I'm going to give you a break, all right? So my hope is that's going to start being a bit numb at the back of the throat, okay? So you may feel nervous being a little bit guttural with your speech and things. So if I ask you to, ask you to speak, just count to, count to ten for me. One, two, three, four, five. Bending the end of this, all right? And this is gonna, I'm just gonna touch the back of my throat, and then we're gonna try and get the pretty good deep breathing for me again, okay? So open your mouth for me again. Well done. How does that feel? Is that all right at the back there? If I press at the back, is that okay? No gag All right, let's so just keep doing a deep breath in and out. And in. And out. And in. And out. And in. And then. Good. Last one. Deep breath in. How's that feeling? Okay. Is it alright? Okay. I've got one more, one more little meal. I want you to do the last meal at the back there. Just, just have your mouth nice and wash for me again. And just deep back in. Alright, so we're going to give that a bit of time to cook, alright? Just so we can check that the nose is nice and numb. All right, I'm just going to use this suction cup to. Just let me know. So this is just a little thin suction cup to, okay? So we just turn around. It's not painful so when I'm doing that. So if you mouth away again. Does that feel okay at the back there? Nice and numb? Good. Okay, alright. So next bit of this is we're gonna do the so you see that's nice and soft. Next we're gonna do with the camera, okay? So it is Okay, I'm just going to tighten this up a little bit on your, on your box. So it's just going in. Yep. Yeah, it's just going to go down. It's going down your nose. Can you swallow for us? I think we'd love to. Yeah, Alright. Well done. So, so, that's an over. You might feel a little cough here. I don't know if you want to give it to me, Edgar. Oh, that's okay. Um, thank you. So it's going to go a little bit closer to me. Okay, so can we take it and we do the tube? And you do the tube. So I've got, I've got the. Thank you. That's it. Well done. You're doing great. We know you're nearly there. You're going to be going to sleep very soon. You did really, really well, and I hope it wasn't. You're doing really well. Deep breath for us. You're doing really, really well there. That's it.
Well done. Please come back a little bit. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so we're going to have to test Very good. Did you see that? Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Very good. Well done. So you're going to start drifting off to sleep now, okay? Doing really, you've done really well. Very good. Well done. Let's get a couple of CSU tracings on a on video. Well done. Take some deep breaths for us, Well done. Right, we have to run the ventilator now. Two cops. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, must be better next time. What's that?